Hello, Serious Survivor here. Today we're going to look at how to access routines and to run them, and also how to move what's called the PP or Program Pointer around in your program so you can run whatever line of code you choose to select. So first, to access a routine, there's only one place we can do it, and that's under our ABB main menu in the Program Editor. When we select the Program Editor, it will take us here, and here I get to choose which module that I want to go into. So I'm going to select Module 1 and hit Show Module. Now I'm inside of Module 1 so I can select any of these routines to run them. So I'm going to select Inspect 2 here, just a random routine, and hit Show Routine. So now I'm inside my routine. Now that I'm in my routine, one of the first things that I'm going to notice over here where the line numbers are is that there is no yellow arrow. You have to have a yellow arrow here, and that yellow arrow is called your program pointer. Wherever that program pointer is situated, when I engage the dead man and press play, that is the line of code it's going to run, not just the one I have highlighted. I can highlight this line of code here as often or as much as I want, but without the program pointer, it will not run that line of code. So in a situation like this when I do not have my program pointer, there is one way to get it back, and that's under your debug option here. When you tap debug, it's going to bring up your menu here. And on this menu, you're going to see different selections depending on what you're doing at that moment in time. Here are the selections we have are to set my program pointer to the first line of code in the main program, PP to main. The next option I have is PP to routine. This sets my program pointer in whichever routine I specify. All right, so this is the way we want to go here. I hit PP to routine, and it takes me to my routine list. And on this list, I simply select whichever routine I want. I'm going to stay in this Inspect 2 here, so I make sure it's highlighted, and I hit OK. Now that I have chosen it that way, I can see that my program pointer is right here beside my first line of code. So when I engage the dead man and press my play button, it's going to run this first line of code, then the next, then the next, then the next. Let's say I want to skip the first line of code. I want to start with this move J to a predefined position but using the asterisk or the star to define that position, I simply highlight the line of code that I want and then press PP to cursor. 